been a crazy few days. I feel really nervous because I just have no idea what they're going to look like. So yeah, slightly starting to regret trying to do this launch within like just over a week. <laughs> guys welcome to another studio vlog thank you so much for being here today it's currently wednesday the 5th of july and last night i spontaneously decided that i'm going to do a little collection launch on saturday the 15th of july which gives me about a week and a half to get everything ready i'm crazy i know but basically this month over on patreon the theme is on the beach and i've illustrated this beach scene and a beach hut and cute little beach characters and i just felt really inspired and i've loved how the illustrations have turned out so I thought I'm gonna turn it into a little collection launch and launch it on the 15th of July so it's like midsummer over here in the UK and hopefully people will still feel summery and will want to buy them I know people are already thinking about Halloween and autumn and things like that I know I am a little bit as well so I wanted to get this launch out as soon as possible so I'm gonna test myself and challenge myself to do it in a week and a half we'll see how that goes but I thought I would bring you along for the journey so this vlog is going to be over a few weeks a few weeks not a few weeks over a few days and I'm going to take you along for the journey to see how I prep for a little collection launch in a short space of time so hopefully I'll be able to get this video out a couple of days before the shop launch so you guys can see everything that's coming and the process of me making things and listing things and getting everything ready um, so that it's all ready to go on Saturday the 15th and you guys know what's coming as well so yeah it's going to be a busy vlog it's probably going to end up being quite a long one we shall see but basically today I am going to kind of finalise ideas of products that I want to bring out so there's not going to be like loads of stuff um but i definitely want to bring out some wall art prints bookmarks sticker sheet and there's also a new exciting product that i placed in order for last night as well which i've shown to my patrons and it's a little um acrylic pin i've not done acrylic pins before but my little beach hut um illustration that i did for patreon i thought that would make such a cute pin and i would have got it done as an enamel pin but the turnaround time for them is just way too long so i was looking into acrylic pins and they can get here for tuesday the 11th of july so a good few days before the launch so they're gonna come in this little collection launch as well but yeah I'm super excited about it I've got my patron wallpaper up on my phone now so this is the little beach hut design hopefully you can see it um, but we've got like a little surfboard and a spade as well and it's just so cute it's my favorite one I've done so far every single month over on patreon we have new wallpapers new printable calendars and stationary pages and I do exclusive videos over there and things like that as well. We have a group chat where we all talk to each other and can give each other advice and it's just such a lovely space and a little community and Patreon family and I'm just so grateful for everybody um, that's a part of it. So if you want to join that as well, I am running a seven day free trial at the minute. So you can join, get seven days free, see if it's for you and then hopefully you'll want to stay. You can join from as little as £3 a month to receive some of the benefits and there is like a little tip jar on there as well which is just one pound a month but you don't really get any benefits for that that's just if you want to support me a little bit each month and then the highest tier is five pounds a month and you actually get sent a little goodie every single month as well in the post but yeah enough about that i'm gonna get on and decide on what products i want to launch next saturday and then later on today I'm going to Chloe's house from Hopperty Designs. I'm going to pick up some lunch on the way. I think I'm going to get a McDonald's for us. And I'm going to take that to Chloe's and we're going to have like a little design session. I know she says she's got some orders to do. So yeah, I'm just going to go there, chill with her and have a little co-working session which will be really lovely. So yeah. Let's get on with the day. Still the same day, still Wednesday, but I'm now at Chloe's. 
I've been here for a few hours, it's now quarter to four. I've designed a print to launch on Saturday the 15th and I've also designed a new little kitchen print for Etsy as well and I'll put that on the website at some point. I want to get more wall art prints on my Etsy because I tend to just sell mostly greeting cards over there and I want to try and change that so I'm going to try and design some new wall art prints and get those on Etsy and then I will launch those at some point on my website as well but I'll just show you the little kitchen print that I've just spent most of today designing while I've been here at Chloe's. I'll just show you it on my iPad. It's really simple but I thought it'd be really cute for any plant lovers and coffee lovers as well. Hopefully it's not too bright, hopefully you can see that. But it's just like an off-white creamy background and then we've got like muted pastel colours for the plants and pots and yeah. I think that's super cute. I might actually print one off and put it in my own kitchen because I'm very here for it and I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. So I think tonight I might try and design some more prints for Etsy as well, get some just initial drafts done at least and then I can get those on over the next few days or the next week or so. But yeah, this is probably the last clip you'll see of me today because I'm going to go home soon and yeah I'll just be relaxing on the sofa, do a bit of drawing, make tea, things like that, um, adulting and yeah I don't know when I'll see you again but you'll find out in a few seconds. Good morning everybody, it's a good few days later now, it's now Monday the 10th of July, I think I last spoke to you on Wednesday so yeah, it's been about five days, but it's been a crazy few days. It's been really busy with my teaching job as well. We had a trip to Birmingham on Friday that we all went to um, as part of my teaching job. So it's just been super busy and hectic and also just like small business wise, I've been getting orders out as well and I've just not had time to whip the camera out over the past few days. So I do apologize for that. But it is now Monday and I've come into my office and it's an absolute tip. So my first job today is to tidy my office because I just cannot work. I feel so unmotivated when my office is a mess and it's not been this messy for a while. But because I've just been like coming in here late at night doing my orders, I've not like tidied away properly and things like that and it's just built up and built up. So I need to sort that out. And I've also bought a cute new lamp that I wanted to put on my shelves, I'll just show you. So I got this cute little lamp from Dunelm, it's this lilac colour and it's got like a white pattern on the lampshade and I was going to put it on my shelves but um, it doesn't fit, it's too tall so my plan of action is in order to have this lamp in the background because I want it like in the background of my videos, <clears throat> my voice is being really weird today, I want to put it on this little desk here where I've got my two printers because this printer with the like lid up is what I use for my wall art prints, stickers, everything that I make myself. This printer I used to use just for my greeting cards, but obviously now, if you've watched a few of my studio vlogs, you may know that I'm now outsourcing my greeting cards, so this printer never actually gets used that often. So I'm thinking I might move this printer down to the bottom shelf of these shelves which you can't really see, it's, there's like one shelf below this one. So I'm gonna put that down there and I should still be able to plug it in and everything in case I need to use it. Cause sometimes I do print the odd thing off with this printer if that one's busy. So I'm gonna put that down there and then I'm gonna put the lamp on this little desk on this side and hopefully that can be like a kind of cutting station. So I'm gonna put my guillotine there and when my prints print from my printer, I can then just cut them ready on this desk and the little lamp will go on here as well. So I'm going to try and have a bit of a shuffle around, see if I can make that work um, and I'll show you what that looks like in a few minutes. It'll probably take me longer than that to be honest. And then for the rest of the day today, I need to design a couple of bookmarks and send those off ready for the launch on Saturday, which is five days away. Slightly starting to regret trying to do this launch within like just over a week of deciding that I wanted to do it but we'll make it work. I've got a really exciting delivery coming tomorrow of a product that's launching on Saturday so I'll be able to show you that um, but yeah I want to get a couple of bookmarks designed and then I can send off for those and then everything else I'll be making in house so that'll be fine I can design those probably tomorrow um, but yeah let's get this office tidy. 
looking like i think it looks so cute with the little lamp on there ignore my dying plant i've given it a really good water and it will just come back to life it always ends up looking really sad and then i just give it a really good water and it comes back to life for ages but yeah um this will be really handy so i can just pop my guillotine on here and cut any prints that come out of the printer and yeah it'll just be a lot more practical and then i've just put my actual printer down on this bottom shelf <laughs> I need to sort these out as well, um, but that can be something I do another day. <laughs> okay, I've moved things around a little bit and I'm really happy with how it's looking. So we've just got the one printer on here now with my little LED logo light that one of my best friends got me for my birthday. And then the little lamp is there as well and there's still plenty of room so I can put my guillotine on there when I'm cutting up my prints and things like that. So yeah, that's going to be super handy and it just adds another little bit of light in the background to my videos as well so I hope you guys like it. I just need to tidy my desk now because it's a hot mess and then I'll be all good to go. I've got some website orders to pack as well so I'll show you me packing a few of those. I'm teaching this afternoon for a couple of hours and then when I get back I'll probably design the bookmarks and send off for those. So I'm going to tidy, pack orders, go teach for a couple of hours, do bookmarks when I get back. I'll bring you along with me for the day and for the next couple of days as well and see how much we can get done ready for the launch on Saturday and I should be able to get this video up hopefully by the Friday so you guys have some warning of the launch before it happens. Um, so yeah, let's go. <laughs> Shut it down, hang it around, God oh Cause darling there was nothing right When all you seem to do is lie Those days are gone, I'm walking tall while you're alone Just a lesson that I learned And so it goes, tables turn And you're on your own When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things you took from me
morning guys it is now the next day it is tuesday and yesterday after i got back from teaching i didn't do anything that i thought i was gonna do i got back when was it probably about quarter to four and i got tea on i did hot dogs with like onions and stuff so the onions took ages to cook and then after i'd eaten tea i was just really full and i just wanted to chill out on the sofa i thought i might do some designing on the sofa but i didn't end up doing that either i just wanted a really chilled out evening so i didn't do anything yesterday after i got home from teaching but that's okay because i can get some bits done this morning i am teaching again this afternoon for a couple of hours and then tomorrow which is wednesday and thursday I've got all day off so I can get loads done then but what I really need to do today is I need to design my bookmarks because I need to send off for those for them to hopefully arrive um, by Thursday would be really good if I could get them here for then and the manufacturer I use should be able to get it here by then because they usually make and dispatch things really quickly so I'm not too worried about that if I can get my bookmarks designed by the end of the day then that'll be fine and sent off for those and I also need to record a Patreon podcast today so I'm going to do that now that's the first thing I'm going to do so that I can just edit that slightly sometimes they don't need editing but sometimes they do if I make a mistake so I'm gonna record that now I just want to talk about um, the most recent market that I did and some things I've done this year differently to what I did last year in terms of my market stall that have made things um, a lot better for me and a lot easier so yeah I want to talk about that and just have a general catch-up really with my patrons it's usually what my podcasts are just me chatting away hopefully you guys if you're patrons enjoy them <laughs> sometimes I feel like I'm just rambling but yeah, I need to record that. So if you want to hear Patreon podcasts, as soon as you sign up as a patron, you get access to everything I've ever uploaded over there. So if you join, you can hear and listen to all the podcasts that I've done. I think this will be my fourth or fifth one because I only started my Patreon in March. Um, and we've just recently hit 45 patrons, which is insane i can't believe that thank you so much if you are a patron so yeah i'm gonna crack on and get my podcast recorded and then we'll see what time it is because it's actually quite late already because i've been doing loads of ad mini bits this morning i don't actually know what time it is it's definitely past 10 o'clock oh no it's one minute to 10 um so yeah i can get that recorded and then we'll see where we are but i'll catch up with you in a bit So I've just come to edit the podcast and the sound quality does not sound how it usually does because for some reason my laptop didn't recognise that I plugged in my external microphone so it's just recorded like on the MacBook microphone so it doesn't sound as good as usual. That is so annoying because it's literally 17 minutes long so do I re-record it or not? I feel like if I re-record it, I'm going to miss miss something out that I've spoken about. And I'm happy with how this podcast turned out. So I think I'm just going to go with it. I've just messaged my patrons on the group chat like, my microphone wasn't working. Do you guys mind if you want me to re-record it? So I'll wait to see what they say. But I'm just going to keep editing it for now. If they want me to re-record it, then I will. But that is so annoying because this microphone I have, it's the blue ice snowball i think it's called i got it quite a while ago but it's so good and it makes your podcast sound really like profesh um which this one doesn't it sounds like i've just recorded it on my phone or something but i don't think they'll mind and all future podcasts will be the same usual quality that they usually are it's gonna be one of those days i can tell Hi guys, I'm back. It's now four o'clock. I've been and done my little bit of teaching and I've just got home to a really exciting parcel. So these are the acrylic pins that are coming in the shop update on Saturday. So I'm going to unbox them for you now and hope and pray that they look how I want them to. So I am actually quite nervous to open these because I originally thought I wanted to do enamel pin for these little beach hook for this little beach hook design um but the turnaround time for enamel pins is like for six plus weeks and obviously i only decided the other day that i wanted to do this shop update so i looked for an alternative and these acrylic pins the turnaround time was really quick i only ordered these the other day um so let's see what they're like 
and they come in a little bubble bag so i got these from stick and Bill. i feel really nervous because i just have no idea what they're gonna look like i'm so scared Look how cute these are. So it's the little beach hook design as an acrylic pin and then the back is just a little rubber clutch. But these will look so cute. I, I'm a little bit disappointed with the colour of them because they're not as saturated and as bright as I wanted. But all the details are there. So yeah, these are so cute. I can't wait to launch them. So I've got how many of them these? They've come in like a little bag as well. Oh I've just realised. They've got like a little cellophane cover on them. Maybe that's why they don't look as colourful as they're meant to. They've got like a little film on. So maybe if I take that off, they'll look a bit bolder and a bit more saturated. Yeah, so it's got like a little cover on it that I'm just peeling off now. Oh yeah, that is better. So it's not, it's still like a little bit pale, but the detail's a bit more fine and it's a little bit bolder. Yeah, that's better. So the design's just one side, it's got a black rubber clutch at the back and I just think these are so cute with the little smiley face on. Um, yeah, I'm so happy with them, that'll look super cute on my little pin board. <laughs> Let me know what you think, these are coming on Saturday in the shop launch along with lots of other things as well. Well, lots of other things, about six other things I think. Um, but yeah, really happy with those. I've got a bunch here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Okay, I've only got 12 of these, so we'll see how they go. But if they're popular, I can always reorder them. So yeah, I'm really happy with those. I'm gonna photograph them in the morning, so I'll show you what they turn out like as well. And later on tonight, I'm gonna design the bookmarks and get those sorted and hopefully ordered, so I can show you those tomorrow as well. But I'm gonna turn the camera off for today because I need to get tea on and things and I feel like when it gets past like four or five o'clock I'm just done with work um but I'll try and design my bookmarks later because I really need to do that and get them ordered because I'm procrastinating a lot <laughs> so yeah I'll catch up with you tomorrow it's now Wednesday so as you've seen I've been getting some final bits together I've made the sticker sheets this morning I actually sat down and designed those last night on the sofa um, and just now I've been designing the backing card for the little acrylic beach hook pin that's come in on Saturday so I wanted something quite fun and I'm not gonna outsource these backing cards because I've only got 12 pins so I'm just gonna print them myself um, so I've gone for like a little beachy scene, so this is them printed off and I've obviously not yet cut them out. Um, it just says acrylic pin at the top and I've got two palm trees either side and this little seagull is going to be sat on top of the beach hut, so the beach hut pin will go here in the middle and then on the back is just my little logo and character illustration at the bottom. So I'm going to cut these out put the pin on and see what it looks like and then I'll show you and then what I'm going to do is, let me just 
turn my brightness up a little bit. There we go. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to show you everything that's come in on Saturday that I've got done so far. I've got everything sorted apart from the tote bags but I'm gonna design those and make some today so you probably won't see those in this vlog but they can be a surprise when you look at the shop update on Saturday if you click on the website so yeah let's see what these pins look like on these backing guards <laughs> so proud of myself that I've managed to pull this off in such little time. I only decided about a week ago that I wanted to do this launch and it's going to be ready for Saturday and I think I'm going to be able to do it to the point where I'm not stressed out. I should be able to get everything listed and on the website by Friday evening, Saturday morning so that it's ready to go um, for 10 o'clock to my patrons on Saturday and then I've decided that I'm going to launch it to the public at 12 o'clock on Saturday. So my patrons as always will get first dibs at everything so we do have a really limited amount of pins um, and bookmarks as well. But if they do really well, I can always restock them, but I don't know if I will be um, because it's just like a little summer collection launch. So if you want that early access, then make sure you join my Patreon before Saturday morning. And even if you join the free seven day trial, you can have a little look over there, see if it's for you and see if you want to join us and stay as part of our little Patreon family. Um, but yeah, they'll be getting access two hours before everybody else. So I'm going to quickly end this vlog by showing you everything that I've got made so far that's launching on Saturday. I've got everything done apart from the tote bag or tote bags. I might do a couple of different tote bag designs. So there'll probably be about six or seven products launching in total. I've got five here to show you now. So let's show you them. So I'll start with the one that you've just seen me preparing with its packaging and it's the enamel pin i keep saying enamel pin it's not enamel pin it's an acrylic pin and it's the little beach hut i am so obsessed with how this has turned out with the little backing card the little seagull at the top as well it's so cute and then we've just got a black rubber clutch rubber clutch at the back um so yeah this is launching there's only going to be 12 of these available so we'll see how they go the next thing that you saw me make earlier on today is the on the beach sticker sheet. So on this one we have little fish and chips at the top, some palm trees, ice creams, some little cute seagulls, buckets and spades and some little starfish at the bottom as well. So this is super cute, it's so colourful and I'm obsessed with the little fish and chips, I think they're adorable. They're so cute, I love them so much. So yeah, that's the sticker sheet coming. Then we have a little wall art print that's coming in this collection as well, which is really exciting because I feel like I haven't come out with some new wall art prints in a while. Sorry about that, my SD card was flashing at me. It ran out of space, so I've just deleted some things quickly. Um, so yeah, I've shown you the sticker sheet and the pin. Next up, I'm going to show you the wall art print that's coming in this collection launch. So I'm really making an effort to try and create more wall art prints because that's where this business started really, with wall art prints. And I feel like I've abandoned them for quite a while with making other products. So like I mentioned earlier on in the video, I'm going to make a real effort to, whenever I feel inspired, design a wall art print and just put it on the shop, not necessarily launch it or tell anybody about it before I do it, I'm just going to put it on and then I might share it on Instagram or something and show you in the next vlog whenever I upload that. So 
yeah the two latest ones are the coffee cup one and the plant shelf one with the coffee things on it too so hopefully you guys like those but the wall art print coming in this collection is this little beach hut scene print and i'm so obsessed with this i think it's so cute it's actually quite a lot brighter in person it's making it look a little bit dull on the camera hopefully i can brighten it for you a little bit um but yeah, we've got a little pink, blue and yellow beach hut and the little seagulls there again, he's a recurring character in this collection as well as the little beach hut but I just think that is so cute and it'll look so nice in like a white frame or just pinned up somewhere I'm gonna pin this on my cork board up there I think but yeah that is super cute this will be printed onto satin paper I've just printed it on this matte card for now because I also printed some um, test prints of the two bookmarks that are coming as well so these bookmarks I have sent off for them to be printed because I get them printed and outsourced onto a really nice thick smooth card but I've just printed these just so I can show you in this vlog so the first first one we've got is at the beach hut scene and it's got a little white tassel on it so it's just the pink beach hut same as the acrylic pin with the little seagull at the top and I just think that is so cute and it will be double sided as well and then the second one is a seamless pattern of loads of little beachy characters that I've used on the sticker sheet as well again with a cute white silky tassel so yeah these are the two bookmarks let me know which one your favourite is in the comments because I can't decide. I think it might be this one just because it's a little bit more colourful. But then this one, I kind of like the simplicity of it. Um, I don't know. They're both so cute. But yeah, that is everything coming in the shop launch on Saturday. The On The Beach shop launch. I really hope you guys like everything. And there will also be one or two tote bags as well coming in the shop update. So for the rest of the day, I'm going to try and focus on getting some pictures of my acrylic pins and sticker sheets and then I'll have to photograph the bookmarks and the tote bags um, when I make those and when the bookmarks arrive hopefully by Friday is when they should be coming, fingers crossed, if they don't I'm going to be a little bit screwed but they do always deliver on time so it should be all good but yeah I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I hope you're excited for the shop launch it will be launching at 12 o'clock British time so BST um, on Saturday so 12 p.m and 10 a.m to my patrons they get two hours early access before the public so remember to join over there if you want that early access so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing what I've got up to over this past week. Thank you for keeping me company. I do upload studio vlogs every week to this channel, so if you're not yet subscribed and enjoyed this vlog, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and also give this video a like, and that will really help push this video to more people who like this kind of content, and it helps me to know that you've enjoyed the video as well. Thank you so much again, and hopefully I'll see you very soon in the next studio vlog. Bye!